What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Poseidon. His name is Squash. His opponent today in the red color playing as Odin. His name is the Rapple. The map is Frozen Wastes. We've got a Titanic matchup for you here today. Squash is currently ranked... I want to say... Sorry, excuse me. I want to say Squash is currently ranked third on the uh, in the 1v1 leaderboard right now uh, and is an incredibly strong macro player. Uh, if anybody ever asks me who to watch to learn, I would say go and check out Squash and basically just wrote copy what his villagers do when he gets technologies and you will be an immediate 1700 player if you can just execute what Squash does in terms of his macro. Uh, obviously, he's also got some insane micro. His strat strategic game sense is off the charts good. Uh, and he's a very, very multi-god player. He plays a lot of different gods. But we do see this classic Poseidon versus Odin matchup. Uh, it's, it's funny. It seems as if this matchup is kind of like the flavor of the month or the flavor of the, the last six months in a way. But in essence, what this really is, is that... What we see is we've got Matrius as a top player, we've got Rapple as a top player, we've got Squash as a top player, we've got people like Soup are top players. A lot of the top player base are playing Odin and Poseidon, not necessarily because they are overpowered, but because they are simply those main god players. Um, so that's that's a big that's a big thing here. Uh, there are other gods you can play. We do see a lot of set on the ladder, like Joe plays his set, uh, Isis, Ra. Uh, we see some. We see some Poseidon. We see some Hades. We've got some Aranos players in the top. Uh, even a little bit of Loki's from time to time. But uh, we're on frozen wastes here, and we do have this this classic Poseidon versus uh, Odin matchup. I'm still waiting to see a Poseidon player go for Hoplites instead of Hippocon. Will this be the game? Will it be the game? I don't know. We've got a temple coming up for Squash right now. Uh, okay, so this won't be the game. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why this won't be the game. The re the whole thing you want to do with uh the whole thing you want to do with Poseidon against Norse is you want to save your lured animals. The big reason you save your lured animals is because uh what happens is when you go Hoplite Toxody, you get the advantage in the early stage of the game. You have all of the initiative with Hoplite Toxody as Poseidon. So that means you can eat your hunt and be completely fine out here and be completely fine living the dream out here. What ends up happening is as the classical fight progresses, you lose that advantage because you want to be going to the heroic age. So you bring your villagers back home, which means now your opponent who's got the map control, the map advantage, the raid advantage, the pressure, isn't going to be able to do anything to target you down. So eating your hunt here indicates to me that Squash has got other ideas, other plans for his, uh, for his classical age, and we will probably be seeing those Hippocon. And I do continue to ask the question, why build Hippocon if your opponent can't build Arches? I will continue to ask this question forever and ever because it's confusing and I don't understand it. Uh, but we do see seven villages on wood here and or eight villages on wood as a second storehouse is going on with only two villages on gold. So... I mean, this could be one of those wild situations where Squash is going to get out his stables and then bring these villages over onto gold a little bit later and sort that out in terms of his gold income for Hippocon. Or we might actually be seeing some sort of Toxody shenanigans coming through here for Squash. Rapple, on the other end, he's got a a very large amount of goats. I was going to say something different, but... I uh, felt like maybe cursing wouldn't be the right way to continue here. But we've got Rapple here. He's got Freya coming through 80% of the way through. He's got the double Ulsark in the back. And we do see these villagers now going to be happily moving forward onto these walrus, only to be greeted by Athesius, who's walking in. And Theseus is a big, big unit here in the Archaic Age. Uh, as opposed to the Hursa, is a little bit sad. We do see the villagers now going to be trying to shank back that Theseus. Nice turnaround here from Squash. Going to be continuing this fight over here. 
As another Herso coming in, that Valkyrie's going to be moving forward over here. Uh, going to be trying to take down Squash's main base as we do see Hippolyta coming through. There's the first stable for Squash. Does he have uh, husbandry? He does have husbandry. So there's a big reason why Squash has gone for seven villages on wood. He wanted to get uh, his Hippolyta out. He wanted to get husbandry out. Did he get pickaxe as well? He got pickaxe as well. And he wants to get these stables down. So this is going to be a very, very big macro game here from Squash. He's already onto his hurdles. There's a second stable coming down. That's now uh, Squash going to be moving in. Going to try and push through these Hursa that are just chilling on this location. Trying to get a little bit of damage done with those golden lines. We talked about these uh, in the Rapple uh, chemo game. But these Golden Lions really help out a lot. 7 damage per second. That is a Militia. 70 HP. Not quite a Militia. I think Militia are 100 HP. But 70 HP. Still a lot of HP to have to push through that it wouldn't normally be here. And now Squash can just push in and get this huge damage done. As these, these Lions really, really help. Uh, and we are seeing the Lions going to get sniped out. And these are just simply put free units. If we're seeing the Hippolyta walk in. Going to get some damage done. We do see the Valkyrie getting some counter raids in. Pushing off the gold mine over here probably going to be seeing a frost forest fire here by uh rapple just to make sure that he relieves a little bit of the pressure that he's feeling over here as we do see the ox cart 25 hp remaining the villagers might want to get pulled off here as we see 18 hp 11 hp 4 hp and it's gonna get down it's gonna go down it's now rapple needs to get another ox cart out onto this location we do see the uh raiding cavalry going to be chasing the hippolyta away and the valkyrie going to turn around try and uh jab away at those hippocon here as now now we are seeing that Theseus does end up falling. Here's another ox cart for, for Rapple. And one of the things that Odin players might want to consider doing is when their opponent does snipe their, uh, their food villagers, ox cart you just bring this ox cart back and move these villages over onto the snowy pine or near your town center while you're waiting for that ox cart to come out and it's going to be a little bit less of a problem for you uh and we are seeing more units popping out still just mass hippocon for squash so he's also got two villages on the favor here so he's going to be going for spirited charge fairly soon he's got nine villages on the gold mine uh if you have three stables going that's 72 gold per 20 seconds you are looking at about four villages on gold per stable to make sure you're able to build from all three of those stables we're only actually seeing squash build from two here i don't know if that is on purpose or not but it's currently all he can really afford with only nine villages on gold so uh completely fine here we are seeing the the, the golden lions already back out here for squash as they're helping out yet again i believe they respawn every minute here in this game we are seeing a forest fire coming in onto this location a little bit preemptive there from rapple you definitely want to be at least waiting for your opponent to target you back while they're near the forest before you cast that one down so we're starting to see some more longhouses coming down for rapple as he is desperately trying to continue hunting in this game uh but now uh will we be seeing squash getting that that spirited charge is getting himself medium raiders or sorry medium cavalry first and that's going to be a big big indication for him to kind of start attacking as that forest fire is finished how's rapple going for his upgrades here we don't see anything just simply grabbing himself those raiders out here as the ox cart pushing back here and we are seeing the raiders deciding to take this fight and squash is going to say i don't mind I've got the upgrades. Nice micro though from Rapple, but good counter micro from Squash. Able to very easily see what's going on here. And with all of these, this pullback micro from, from Rapple is like losing a lot of DPS. He is managing to pick off those golden lions over here. Population is 63 to Squash is 63 as well. So very, very even here is the Hearst, uh, the Theseus does get sniped down. Uh, and these Hippocon are still microing to their best of their ability right now as the Walrus does get eaten up we do see the villagers deciding to jump onto the polar bear here as rapple is kind of winning this fight you have to say uh, and we'll see how this is all going to go now squash is kind of behind on the army size it looks like 71 pop to 65 pop uh, obviously he does have the medium cavalry out and rapple is going to decide to pull back to his base now he does have some caribou over here let's see if he knows about it rapple he does know about it so i'm surprised he doesn't go over there at this point he should feel like he's kind of in an okay position but he's going to be deciding to jump onto his goat here now remember Goat gather faster than berries when you have husbandry. So it is better to jump onto them first in terms of getting your 
initial food, obviously, if you, if you let them wait for a little bit longer, you can get 300 food, which is more than, than 250 food, but the extra 50 food on all of these herdables doesn't really matter. Better to get that, uh, that income first. And I believe the reason why Rapple is deciding I want to bring my villagers home is because I don't want to get raided because I want to go raiding. Uh, whereas I think maybe better would be to just keep on trying to engage with those Hippocon and grab this hunt, but he's not done so. And we do see a tier three, nine months XCVZ13. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope you're enjoying the games. Uh, and now the Raiders retreating the ways. The village is going to be returning onto this gold mine. Only 497 gold remaining over here as Squash is getting a huge amount of damage onto this location here. Now he has to move up. Rapple has to move up onto this gold mine. So now there is a potential for a timing here from Squash. Rapple's 77 population, Squash's 87 population, and Rapple's lost a lot of units trying to get some villager kills over here, which I don't think was that important here. I think getting to the heroic age was everything that Rapple needed to do. We are seeing some houses going down. Now we're starting to see some Valkyries coming out for Rapple. As Squash is now making his way up to the top side of the map, you're going to be looking at this gold mine and saying, what you doing over here? This is not your gold mine anymore. I'm going to be fighting you for it. And we do see the Golden Lions still back out. I think we've seen four Golden Lions thus far. This is the sixth pair of Golden Lions. Oh, the, the third pair of Golden Lions here for uh, Squash, helping out an absolute ton here in this game uh, in order to push Squash over the edge. And Rapple... He is able to seemingly defend here as we see the dwarves able to take down this Theseus without actually losing a single dwarf just yet. Uh, and we are going to have to see those Hippocon retreating away. We do have Spirited Charge through for Squash. We do not have Thundering Hooves for Rapple. And the the uh, the Valkyrie retreating back, doing their thing. and be hiding back uh, in their little cheeky base here. And we'll see how Squash is going to approach this. I, I feel like I mean, Squash, he can't really realistically go to the Heroic Age because he's, he's, he needs to make sure he has this location under watch. And, I mean, Rapple's actually got his Raven here. And he should know that there is potentially some units on this gold mine. I, I like that the Raven's on the settlement, but I feel like you don't need to see this much of it. You only need to see this much. And I feel like maybe there's a world where this Raven can have an idea on both the town centers and the gold mines. Uh, but he doesn't have that yet. We are seeing the villagers getting harassed here as Squash moving in and out. Rapple still no thundering hooves, it seems like. Just that 6.0 speed instead of 6.6 .6 speed. And that means the Spirited Charge Hippocon going to be able to do a ton of damage here. Do we have any upgrades though? No chain mail for either players. Chain mail is one of those upgrades which I feel like is completely underutilized in these situations. Obviously, it costs a lot of resources to get it out, but still very, very useful. And right now, it is seeming like the Hippocon going to be winning this fight here. Squash is 84 of 115 population. Uh, and it, we are seeing those Valkyries out to help. But I, I, I just feel like maybe instead of the Valkyries getting Thundering Hooves could have been a much, much bigger assistance to Rapple. But right now, the Valkyries, because there's no heroes out for Squash, they're doing a very, very nice job here. <laughs> More of these Golden Lions coming in, still helping out. A lot, and we are seeing that Rapple deciding maybe it's best for me to leave this location. Maybe I can send some villagers over onto this gold mine and continue in this game. I don't think that Squash is going to fall for this. As Squash does move over here and sees what's going on, is Rapple going anywhere here? No, not just yet. Still pumping out these raiders. He's actually going to have a significant amount of idle military time right now as he's run out of gold as he's trying to move over here, which means Squash can do kind of whatever he wants here. He can either say, I'm going to stop building my, uh, my hippo. I'm going to go Heroic Age, I'm going to keep building my Hippocon, get maybe Copper Weapons, Copper Mail, uh, and just have the stronger units, uh, kind of whatever he wants. But uh, Rapple's now over on this gold mine, and we will see what's going to happen. Meanwhile, Rapple is taking this advantage to move up onto this location. There are only four Hippocon here versus the three Valkyrie plus those Raiders. The Villagers are going to be under a lot of, a lot of duress here. Imagine Forest Fire now, though. Ah, oh, ah, oh, just imagine it. I'm imagining it. So sad, so sad. 
The Valkyrie is going to get a lot of high value damage done. But meanwhile, while this is going on, Raffles not paying attention to his base. He's losing all of his wood villages. He's lost himself his longhouse over here. And he's also, while he's gotten a lot of damage done, he has lost all of those Valkyries. So now Squash can just say, I'm going to start killing your gold villages. 111, 115 population for Squash. Rapple, 59 of 115. A huge advantage here from Squash as he is making this uh, Spirited Charge Hippocon strategy work wonders for himself. And we still don't see Thundering Hooves for Rapple. We still don't see any attempt at getting Copper Mail. Obviously, very behind on the population as these Hippocon are going to be going after these units. We see the Theseus going to try and target down the Valkyrie here as it's retreating away from this. But all you got to do is just target... I mean, he's going after the food villagers here who are currently eating this very nice find by Squash as Rapple is trying to sneak this under his nose and it's not going to happen here. And Rapple does decide in that point of the game to tap out as Squash is getting himself a second town center. He's got himself all the food. He's 115 supply. And there is nothing the Rapple could do here in this game. And this all stemmed from the fact that Rapple went after this gold mine and lost so many units here. If we actually check the post game, you will notice uh, a significant trend here from Rapple. This was the time right here was the time when Rapple sent his raiding cavalry in to get a raid and he went from 23 raiding cavalry a perfect amount of raiding cavalry down to 11 you can't be doing that uh and yes we did have a small drop on the hippocon but the hippocon are worth uh, a lot more than those those raiding cavalry anyways uh and yeah that that was that was when rapple fell behind and he just could not catch back up but that wasn't just it. The initial push here onto this location did a significant amount of damage to Rapple, and that was only real possible because of those uh, those golden lions. And I want to just say, imagine if we went Hoplite Toxodi to push this. Would have been so much stronger initially, uh, and I reckon Squash would have been able to win any Odin player doing anything here Good if he went for that stretch. But didn't. One day we'll see it. One day. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next game.